new slate. Yeah. It's nice. Live? All right. All right, Big Manning. Today is Monday. It's March 4th. Welcome to the Dog Walk presented by Barstool Sports. Uh, Snake Draft Monday, first live one ever. Uh, Big Cat's the guest. Big Cat, welcome uh, to the first live draft ever. Thank you. How was spring training? Looked it was, awesome. It was it pretty sick. Good. Mine is Eddie's throw. What was it? Throw. I didn't see that. Multiple. No, no, no. That was on uh, camera? That was one tough. One was an overthrow. And, it and was, <laughs> one was an under. Eddie, that was bad. Well, listen. I don't think you should throw anymore. Well, hold on. Listen. It was a sabotage. How was it a sabotage? It you got the yips? Sabotage, <laughs> it sounds good, though, to say it was a sabotage. It was. You texted me that. I was like, dude, what's with that throw? They the, sabotaged my hand in him a baseball. If you he was John Lester throwing it first. If you un- <laughs> Worse. I've been trying to tell you. If you unfroze a brontiosaurus after 10 years, it would have trouble eating leaves, too. I'm just going to say, and I love you, Eddie, but like that throw made me think you've never thrown a baseball. So we have to like re, we have to, no, we have to I, do like a whole, maybe that's the next video series is White Sox Dave teaching. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Yeah. I'll, I'll I like, get you yeah. like actual. Yeah. They've got me. What are you throwing? Dave uh, fixed my curveball. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The, the fact, the, the thought of taking any tips from Dave is just. But that's what makes it you gotta, great. You got to humble. Yeah, that's hey, what makes it great. Hey, humble yourself. Yeah. Dave teach humble you yourself. how to throw and you, then just having. You've seen yeah. me throw, correct? But. <laughs> uh, you've seen me throw, correct? He's, pretty, he's throw. Mark Pryor. He's I got can, perfect mechanics. I can fucking hum it. But Dave is known as a hummer and not an accuracy guy. I don't need humming. I, I, need I can accuracy. teach. You need, you need it all. You can teach you everything. I think yeah. I'm going to have to. Man, it is mandatory. You have to do this. I want to see. I'm fine with that. Dave Listen. teach you how to throw. I haven't thrown anything besides a 16 inch long. Granted, it's like. But I'm telling you, like, there is some. There is some no, like, there's yep, not. Have we decided what we're throwing doing? Throwing things is like riding a bike, as they say. It's something you don't just forget. Yeah. yeah. I, I do judge adult males who can't throw anything. Absolutely. I can throw a football. You guys see me throw a football. It's fine. Yeah. What are we doing with that uh, little space of land between the office and the train tracks? Can we put, like, a little bullpen out there? Yeah, I mean, I've told Chaps I want him to, like, uh, uh, he can pretty much put everyone to work, but imagine whatever he wants, and then let's go do it. Like, build okay. some stuff. A speed pitch turf the mound would yeah. be nice. Yeah, that would be nice. You, would get you like that, throwing. Dave? Well, I've, been that, a little bit. I've been saying that since we were talking about getting this office. I need a radar gun of some sort. I agree. At my disposal. I agree. What I if, would also like to see what Mincy can do on the on a speed gun. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we might have a rat infestation problem in that yeah, area. Though. Yeah. Well, that's good true. thing we got a guy for that. Yeah. 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 Ed's already trying to figure out ways <laughs> to get out of it. We good way to scare what? him away is having humans back there. Yeah. That's right. It adds, yeah, and it adds a little bit of, you know, intrigue. Mm. You're learning to throw in, like, a rat farm. Yeah, sure. <laughs> under the L. It's fun. <laughs> what if it's, like, the Ratatouille 2? You get a little rat under your hat, and he teaches you how to throw. Yeah, that could bake in excuses. Um, the original like mouse. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> the original mouse. Yeah. Mouse socks, Dave. It was in a. It was a good trip, though. Yeah, yeah it looked awesome. In spite though. of Ed not being able to throw. Who else you guys get on the pie? I saw Hap. I saw yeah. Hap Steele, Chris Gatz, Chris Gatz, Chris Briggs, Briggs, Erlacher, Erlacher, and that's it. Dave might maybe climb the aggro crag. Hell yes! Yeah. Oh, we did some of the rigs too. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Nice. So good trip. Yeah, good, nice, yeah. nice, productive trip. Mm-hmm. Um, today is a spring draft, spring shit draft. We did fall last year. We somehow have never done spring, so there will only be four of us. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. Perfect timing. Yeah. Yep. Perfect Incredible timing. weekend. Yeah. You guys see when did you guys fly fly back? Saturday. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean that was the Saturday and Sunday. Even t- today. Wake today up it's nice. absolutely perfect weather outside. Got so lucky with such an easy winter. I was I was actually legitimately nervous that like if we got a really really bad Chicago winter, there would be some people who were like I'm moving. I don't want to be here. here anymore. But I'll say this: I remember Hank tweeted. He's like, "Is this this is Chicago?" Yeah, winter? I uh-huh. told him that. I was like, like "Don't like, taunt it. Snow in yeah. March. <laughs> it's snow in April." Yeah. But yeah. I be I. I religiously look at the ten day forecast and I'll tell you anything above forty at That's this point it's like fuck sure. it. Yeah. yeah. But we had we had like one bad week. That's yeah. it. Five yeah. days. It was yeah. I, I and it was playoff it was, football, so who gave a fuck? And it was gone. Yeah. Yeah, it, it melted. Was in like and out. Day. I, yeah. I said this yesterday, I think it was the easiest winter I can remember. Yeah, there was one in And like, we've had a few back to back in a row that were easy. This was so easy. Yeah. There was one in like oh eight or oh nine where I just remember vividly like February was like fifty degrees every day and I was like what the fuck is I this? remember March first my it was the first year I could illegally drink in college March first onward was like seventy that was yeah. in like two thousand ten yeah yeah somewhere around yeah. that yeah but yeah this has been incredible so spring is here it's all for right there, now is there like a fourteen day do we know what St Patrick's Day weekend's gonna be because, I don't know but that is the, I mean when you 
like you remember those like yep. I, yeah that was probably that like 2010 11 when it was like 70, 70 degrees yeah. on St. Patrick's Day and it was like the best day to yeah. be alive. Uh, we had one at Declan's where you, when you were bartending I yeah. remember it was like 75 degrees I was that doing day. such a bad job. <laughs> I was yeah. just like <laughs> people would just come up to me and be like I want a drink and I just be like we got bottled beers. Beer? Like, that's that's it. it. I got <laughs> I got nothing else. Yeah, no, it looks right now next week sunny 40s 50s fuck yes all right good because if it's like a 20 degree st patrick's day then it's which all, it's all for possible. nothing it's it all for possible. nothing yeah that uh, yeah you're right it is all for nothing all for nothing i'm retired for st patrick's day which sucks this is actually going to be a really tough year for me because this is the first time i'm back in chicago while being retired like i retired yeah. in new york and i never really did it in new york because i was just like i don't really know what St. Patrick's Day in New York is so like and I was already in my 30s I was like fuck it I'm retiring now with kids I'm retired and I know that like I'm gonna be like driving around on Saturday and just be like fuck you're gonna get I some was, FOMO aren't you I wish I was just well, I mean that's the out. is that the weekend of conference yeah the game? Saturday of yeah. conference championship yeah. games so yeah it's gonna it's gonna suck I'm gonna that's I'm nice. gonna definitely gonna just be staring out my window and just be like damn yeah you just kind of need to find one spot. Just unretire and just be like, I'm just like a one spot guy. For a I don't think I hours. can, though, because it's the kids and shit, and it's March Madness and all that fuck. But, you know. Yeah, let's get three hours and two hours. Yeah. That's you'll it. find you'll just find a, quick, a few hours. Maybe a couple hours. Yeah, just you'll a quick a couple hours. hours. I kind of think now I'm you, should, you should get your I'm own boat. <laughs> yeah. Brett Favre right now. Just get your, yeah. own, get your own boat. We yeah, can all go out on the river. Yeah, yeah. that would be cool. That would be cool. A couple yeah. car bombs. would enjoy that. We'd yeah, it would go problems. fast though. It would, it would it would progress quickly. I don't trust myself. Okay, That's, it's like you got to just retire. And just be retired. <laughs> and Next thing you know, I'm okay. like no dabbling. Does my does this this guy's phone number still work from ten years? ago? <laughs> <laughs> and then that's the problem. So yeah, I'm retired. All right, all right, he's done. Yeah, don't ask him if he's unretired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, spring shit draft. Uh, let's do the order here. Lance has number one through four behind his back. Also, this is like actually live. I don't know if people are. Yeah, this is live. Someone's live. like, is it actually live, or are you just saying it's live like we do with Barca? But this is actually live. no, this is live. Yeah, like live, live, live. I have a governor on my mouth right now, so I don't get us all canceled. Yes. Yeah, Mitzi uh, was going to be the original guest, and we pivoted. That off. That would have been yeah, a problem. Yeah, we had to. Um, all right, so Big Cat, one through four behind Lance's back. What is it? I'll go with two. Yes. Oh, yeah. There you go. Hell yes. I'll take the first pick. All right. Easy. One through three, Chief. One. Yeah. I'll go second. Wow. One or two. White Sox did. Two. No. One. Lance. Uh, I'll take the fourth spot. So I'm third. Uh, the order is Big Cat, Chief, White Sox, Dave, Eddie. Before we get into it, I want to talk about ChevyDriveChicago.com. Uh, the auto show may be over, but the best deals at your Chevy dealer are still going. If it's time for a new car, your local Chevy dealer is something for you. The all-new Equinox, Trax, and Blazer are SUVs you'll want to test drive and drive often, giving everything from style to comfort, safety, and plenty of room. There's a Chevy SUV for you. Um, so... You're pulling the trigger. This it's this is the week. I'm this talking. is the week. Shout Are you out. buying a new car? Yeah. Yeah. Hell yes. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, shout out Mike from Chevy. <laughs> so Mike is is uh, hooking it up. Where I think it's going to be today. What are you going to get? Oh, blazer. Colorado? Okay, nice. Blazer. I think yeah, he's I, got a blazer. Yeah, he does. His is yeah. nice too. Yeah. Yeah. It's always. Are like you going this. hybrid? No, I okay. don't think so. Yeah. He doesn't care so. about the environment. I That's do. Fine. Yeah. I do. But I, I will say this: I don't think our our Arizona trip would have gone as swimmingly if it weren't for that suburban that we were. Yes, yeah, that's true. Yeah, great suburban. car. Yeah, it's nice. great car. Load everyone. The up. boys were loaded up. All the equipment was loaded up. We felt pretty good. It was yep. great. Yeah. Uh, head to ChevyDriveChicago.com to learn more about these cars and find your local Chevy dealer today. All right, first pick, Big Cat, lead us off. Okay, this is easy. March Madness. Yeah, duh. Yeah. Easiest one one ever. It is Thursday and Friday. March Madness are my two favorite days on the calendar year um obviously like you can you can pick football weekends there's you know the random football weekend where you have all the top 25 matchups and a big slate on sunday but first two days of march madness consistently the best two days of the year just going into a bar with your friends sitting there gambling your face off and then waking up Friday morning and being like, what the fuck did I just do? Oh, yeah, I get to do it again. And then again and again. And again and again. And, uh, yeah, in conference championship week, I love so, so much. So it's 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 the best because you have that little lull after the Super Bowl 
where it's actually after Championship Sunday because then you have, you know, a bye week and then there's only one game on Super Bowl Sunday where you have this lull in February where you're kind of lost a little bit. And you're like, I need sports to bring come back into my life, anchor me, and then March Madness shows up. And it's just the best. It's there's nothing better. I lose money every single year, no matter what. Responsibly. And I still wouldn't trade it for any other two days of the year. It should be on the calendar, like a like a stock calendar. Yeah. They should yeah. let you know. Yeah. It yeah. yeah. It's just the best. There's nothing like it. It is the last like pure they it, they they've tinkered with everything, whether it be baseball adding extra seeds, football adding extra seeds, the college football playoff. March Madness, I know they went from 64 to 68, which I don't mind because it's a nice little appetizer. You get those Tuesday and Wednesday night games. Mm -hmm. But the, the tournament, the bracket is perfect. There is nothing better in sports than being like, here is a single elimination, 64, 68 tournament bracket, and it's just chaos, and I love every second of it. And it just peaks, too. It's like such a great spring activity that it, it peaks – Right when Final Four comes yep. is like right when you're really in that nice weather. Yep. And you're like, we did it. We made it. Yeah. I really hope they don't find a way to fuck it up. Yeah. They've been talking about adding more teams. I, I That would be a mistake in my eyes because like the 68, I do like. The, the one idea PFT and I had the other day, which would be interesting, which I'd be down for this, tough to pull off, but Sunday, Selection Sunday, they should have like the eight bubble teams in a location and then oh. as soon as like so th they're like all right here's here's who's got left out and like the first four out get to play for a spot in oh so you get like games on sunday night right away instant action they should do it like rucker park it would be yeah, like, yeah. awesome yeah, outside like for a pickup park, game yeah. it would be awesome yeah, yeah. and it doesn't af it doesn't really affect the bracket cuz it's just you do the play in line you know yeah. what i mean when you fill yeah. out your play in line so that would be awesome that would the only change i would be down for which would be almost impossible to do but I'm in for that. Yeah, like the the college football playoff, like it's TBD. We'll see how it goes. It's probably going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, but it's the, the 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 bracket is is perfect. Yes, it's perfect. I have heard people like talk about like, oh, we got to expand to like 128. No, that's that stupid. sounds that's the dumbest thing of yeah. No, because I, 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 and the regular I, season doesn't matter at all. And not only that, but think about it. Like every year, the teams that get left out, four, five, six teams that get left out. How how long does it take us? to like forget them maybe 20 minutes like yep. they get like two minutes on espn where where jay billis or like dickie v or Lenardi's like oh i can't believe you know bonaventure didn't yeah get clemson in. Yeah. didn't get in they really had that bad loss in december it's like okay i just want to hold my bracket i don't give a fuck <laughs> so it's like they, it doesn't it i've already started highlighting. It. yeah right yeah. right so uh, yeah it's the perfect tournament it's the perfect spring activity just like a reason to go out and get all your friends together your, you know, the the brackets, the betting, just everything. It's NIL proof, too. Like, it's NIL proof. Like, yeah. anything could happen with that. It's still fine. Yeah. And uh, uh, we, we two weeks ago, two weeks ago, we went up to the DraftKings at Wrigley. Hashtag DraftKings partner. That place is going to be the absolute best oh, place it's awesome. to watch. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think and we've it's... announced it, but a dog walk exclusive. Uh, we will be there for the first day of the tournament. Yeah. Awesome. awesome. There that. we go. We're going to be doing the gambling cave for the other three days because – so we've done a lot of March Madnesses the last few years uh, in, like, public settings, whether it be casinos or nothing, or, or, or bars. Goes on weed. It really takes a lot out of you when you're in a public setting. So Dave and I talked about it, and we're like, well, let's do the first day uh, with the people, and then we'll go to the gambling cave because it's stressful. The whole thing is just yeah. it's what, chaos. What yeah. if you're, like, insanely hot on that Thursday? Yeah, then Maybe. you go back. <laughs> <laughs> you can't fuck with Juju. Yeah, I just have I have and, and like even the bad memories are great memories. I don't, like yeah. which sounds so yeah. fucked up. Like I have this weird memory of of walking from Joe's on Weed back to my old place off Armitage uh, on the Friday night of March Madness, and I like I responsibly had bet a lot on, like, Providence. I can't remember who they played, but they scored, like, 30 points, and they lost by, like, 40. <laughs> and I was just – like, it was the last game of the night. And I was yeah. like, I'm just going to go home. And I was just sitting there. I was, like – I was scrolling it on my – like, watching the, the game cast on my phone and just being like, God fucking damn it. Uh, but tomorrow's a new day. Yeah. I want to – I don't know how we would do this, but I want to, like, set up a seated office uh, game of knockout. So oh, I like, like that. Titus is a one seed. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, I think that would be fun. Yeah, that would right. be fun. Uh, Chief, you're up. I'll go St. Patrick's Day. Uh, to me, that is uh, that's like the official kickoff of spring. 
Uh, it's the only holiday that's just based around drinking, and it's just good vibes. Like you get like the music going, you die of the river green. Everybody's in a bar. It is chaos, so it is kind of like what you were saying the off the top dance. Kind it is like a young man's game. Like we went to Old Crow last year uh, with Proper Twelve, mm-hmm. and seeing the line on Clark Street, which it wasn't a line. It was like just twelve people deep in every direction yep. in front of every door. So you have to like. You have to be, like, a tough young guy to do it, I feel like. you got to yes. have that energy. But, like, when you're in your prime drinking age, it is a great holiday. And the house parties are probably the way to go, too. But there's just there's just nothing better. It's, like, gets you you get you wake up that day when you're, like, 24, and you just, like, you're it's hyped. You know you got the whole day in front of you. You know Sunday's going to be tough. But the parades, the music, the bar hopping, everybody wearing green, it's a great day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. It's one of my absolute favorite singular days on the calendar. Like, March Madness is – like a large portion of spring this is just one one day it's a sprint it's you're a waking up yeah. you know exactly what you're doing and by 2 p.m you know that it's going to be lights out the yeah the the move that i found later in my 20s is like you like to pace yourself a little because obviously everyone in their early 20s does the same thing where they just get so fucked up at like 9 a.m and they're just like a, you know garbage by two o'clock i always enjoyed in my late 20s and early 30s being able to like maybe pace myself a little bit and then the bars kind of get a little empty in the yeah. af- late afternoon early evening and that's when it's awesome because it's still like a festive day but you don't have to go nuts to butts in every single bar you're in yeah and even house parties are great too. oh yeah, yeah. Like, that, that's oh, a yeah. big like someone gets oh, a yeah. keg and you're, you're good to go that that's a good way to do it too and it's yeah the way if the weather's nice on st patrick's day it's it really is like there's you just uh, you you like stop and you have that smile on your face. Yeah. Like, I'm yeah. just so happy I'm alive right now. It's made, tough made to it through. It's like, tough to like create better vibes than a warm weather St. Patrick's Day in Chicago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like I and so many memories like of just whenever uh, what what year was it the MGMT like was big? I remember I, that was a great St. Patrick's Day where it was warm out and we were on a roof do- deck and it was just like nothing better. 2009. You could wear a sweatshirt still. Yeah, just, that's the pe- that's the peak. Yeah. You, until yeah. someone yeah. pukes on you or someone yeah. does a fucking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nothing better. <laughs> Everything's nothing better. great until then. Great pick. Uh Dave. I'm going to go with um the first Saturday of May. That's typically aside from 2020. That's, a, that's an awesome pick. 2020, uh it's ter- typically Derby Day. That's yep. the only time they haven't had the Derby on the first Saturday of May. It's typically when I was in college, that was typically Mifflin. And it was like that was on my calendar, as you yep. know, Dan. Yep. And there's always typically there's usually an awesome, awesome fight that night. Yep. Obviously, the last few years there haven't been because of like boxing's kind of dying. But um, like traditionally, there's usually been an awesome fight. There was Mayweather Pacquiao was on. Um, that on, one. When uh, was Mayweather Saturday. Pacquiao? That was oh six oh seven. I was gonna say like two thousand later. Oh yeah, yeah. It was oh no. They, remember they Mayweather. like wouldn't fight for years. Yeah, Mayweather yeah. De La Hoya. I we that was, was. I remember I was in college and we we bought it and we had everyone come over and we're like, you know, we'll we'll buy two kegs. Everyone just throw in twenty bucks. Yep. Free food, free kegs. I just boiled like a hundred hot dogs, <laughs> and I was like, that's the free food. Yeah. There you go. But yeah, that's that's a great pick. I think you had yeah, that was. I think you had Canelo later. Floyd one like yeah right right, right. one year Canelo was like, one year I think. Like, I think we watched that together one year. Yeah, just wall to wall. Yeah, action. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's and you got like awesome NHL, NBA yeah, playoffs yeah. happening. Great day. It's an awesome day, and it's an, it's an atypical sports day because you know not a ton of boxing fans, not a ton of horse racing fans, but everybody's boxing fan that night. Everyone is paying attention to the Derby. Has their twenty dollars ticket from Joe's on weed. Derby's also great yeah. because girls get involved. Yeah, like in a, you know, girls can get involved in all these activities. But March Madness, for the most part, is usually just like bearing a bunch of farts into a chair yep. with your buddies. Yep. And pants. Derby Day is like everyone gets dressed up. It's fun. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, it's a great Saturday. It but the is. fight the needs to Saturday. come back. The yeah, fight no, aspect no. needs to come back. I know. I feel like the UFC should just like steal it. Uh, they should. Yeah. They should. Yeah. They, I mean, there's every Saturday anyway. So yeah. No, but like structure your they have like right, certain right. tent pull like bigger, no exactly bigger yeah, yeah do should, a, a big pay-per-view yeah for sure um all right to me i'm gonna take i mean i i, I would say this qualifies but, but technically it's like the last weekend of may or is it the first weekend of summer i'm gonna take memorial day weekend i think it counts no that definitely counts. yeah, yeah. Right. i, I mean i'm going of summer but yeah, yeah. Like, right after that is summer. Like, that's the official opening of summer, but I think that still counts as yeah. spring. I agree. I also feel like we haven't had, like, we've, we're talking about nice St. Patrick's days. I feel like the weather lately, 
on Memorial Day has been like a nice St. Patrick's Day. Like it hasn't been overly warm, like pool rooftop weather in a long time. But that is that is a great pick. It is the kickoff of summer, but it is I think yeah went by like summer's not technically or whatever like June twenty one first yeah. Yeah. yeah yes so so that is that is but it's always a, like you know you're you're there yeah you made yeah. it yes absolutely. It's a it's a great weekend. It's also we go so long this stretch where we just don't have any holidays. Yeah, you're and then like you get to that it. and you're like, all right, we get yeah. Monday off. This is awesome. Go a little bit nuts. You got Monday off. Like it's it's great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, before we get into the second round, I want to talk about Factor. Eating better is easy with Factor's delicious, ready to eat meals. Every fresh, never frozen meal is chef crafted, dietitian approved, and ready to go in just two minutes. You'll have over 35 different options to choose from every week, including Calorie Smart, Protein Plus, and Keto. Also, there are more than 60 add ons to help you stay fueled up and feeling good all day long. What are you waiting for? Get started today and get after your goals. Two minute meals, fuel up faster with uh, Factors restaurant quality meals that are ready to heat and eat whenever you are. Pancakes, smoothies, and more. Discover a wide variety of easy options for the entire day like breakfast, midday bites, and more. No prep, no mess meals. Factor meals are ready to heat and eat so there's no prepping, cooking, or cleanup needed. Flexible for your schedule. Get as much or as little as you need by choosing your meals every week. Plus, you can pause or reschedule your deliveries at any time. Head to factormeals.com slash dogwalk50 and use code code dogwalk50 to get 50% off. That's code walk dog. That's code dogwalk50 at factormeals.com slash dogwalk50 to get 50% off. Go do it. Um, it's also like it's a holiday weekend, so. Yeah. Yeah. Got so, that added. Yep. It's, yep. Every, everyone. I mean, this is where the draft starts. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, this yeah. is where it gets Those started. are the four that were so easy. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, this is specific, but I'm taking opening day only. Okay. Because spring baseball I like sucks. I like but it. But it's just the one day. Yeah. Opening and day. Opposite of St. Patrick's Day and weather, I like my opening day not beautiful. A little brisk. A little, I like it a little, a little cloudy, a yeah. little Blurries. like, lo- like yeah. raw. Mm-hmm. I like it a little... I don't. I don't want it. I don't want it to be seventy-five degrees. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is this is another like everybody's in a good mood. Everybody's zero and zero. Yeah. Last year on opening day, Eddie was in such a good mood that he got hammered and professes love to white. <laughs> oh, <laughs> true. So, I don't, I love have that. you ever seen that video? Yeah. No, I love oh, that. That's great. That's, true. it's great. that's great. Yeah, good he, for you guys. Well, he kicked me out of his White Sox spaces on opening day, oh. <laughs> which was like rude. He, I'm like, he, no, it wasn't rude. What you? There was no reason for you to be in there. Oh, I, I was. I didn't ask to speak or anything. I just wanted to observe. How many games are the White Sox going to win this year? I said sixty, but I've uh, since talked to Chris Getz and um, a few players, and I'm going to change it to like sixty-six. Oh wow! Yeah. Over under is sixty-three and a half. Wow. I'll go. I'm going to go over. Yikes. I think I'm going to go. Over. I'm going to go over. Damn. They're going to play. The like vibes seem good when we're yeah. talking to the guys. They, well, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. spring. Yeah. No. What, what team doesn't have good vibes? They're like, we all Last hated year, each other. Last year, they all fucking hated each okay. other. Yeah. No, okay. Dave went from being under, under, under until talking to Chris Getz. Then he went over, and then we went to the game Friday, saw Eloy get picked off at first. And then he's like, oh, back under. under. <laughs> yeah. Well, I would have pensioned him right there. Then we <laughs> talked to another guy. We had dinner with another guy in the White Sox. He's back over. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so he can't. Yeah. Opening day is a great pick, though. I, I I firmly believe that there should be no opening day games that are played at night, though. No, here's oh, yeah. like it, other other cities do it. So I, they they should like they they need to make a holiday of opening day. Yeah, and him and I have talked about this bunch. Like, you get you got March Madness. You you got TV stations, True TV, and like the like they they got games on basically like Animal Planet and shit. Yeah, yeah. it's staggered from like 10 a.m. All the way through 9.50 p.m. on the West Coast. And it's they need to do that for baseball. Stagger it. And then you get the live like yeah. draft, draft Kings odds going and, and they everything. Gotta, they got to schedule it, too, correctly, where it would be great if it was if it was like you had two opening days. You had the Monday that it starts where half the league is home. Yep. And then you do the other half of the league gets their first game at home on Friday. So it's like double opening day. And Friday is like all day as well. I, that, that would that be I, great. Yeah. But they always fuck it up. They, always, always they fuck like, it up. Weird, you know. Oh, we're playing here. If we're in West Coast for ten games, or what? Like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. They, uh, they. I love opening day because I love baseball, but it's it's. They could do so much more to make it yeah. so much better. That's why it's like such an epic to me. Like I wouldn't. I would. Obviously, I could. Uh, maybe for I, Wrigley, yeah. like Cubs opening day. Oh, was like, yeah, right. really, yeah. Because like the first one twenty, you know, you're buckling yeah. up for a bunch of these, and like mm-hmm. you know, in high school or in like grammar school, like the teacher brings a TV in. It, it was always nice. You know? I also think you're just so jaded right now. 
Like you're yeah. like you're cranky. No, I well, I definitely am, but nothing I'm saying about baseball as a whole is untrue. It's a boring sport right now. It's also always nice to see who hits the first home run of the season. Yep. I was like, oh, there first, or yeah, someone first, if someone yeah. hits who's that guy from the Tigers who hit three home runs on opening day? Matt Davidson went. did uh against the against the Tigers for the Sox like in twenty seventeen. No, it was like say? a big red headed. Chris dude. Shelton? Yeah, it might have been. Yes. And it was, it was like, dude, Chris he's Shelton. on pace for like hundred and eighty yeah. runs. Yeah. Yeah. He's awesome. <laughs> yes, exactly. Love those. Yeah. Chris Shelton, and everyone's always on pace for 162. Yeah, one. So yeah, it's great. Uh, Dave, you're up again. Uh, Wait, is this a snake? Oh yeah, no, you got snake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got your pitcher picks. Yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with sundresses. Sundresses are starting to make an Herbert. appearance. <laughs> I love what about sundresses. Did you can look up women's dresses. No, you just look at them, not okay. up them. Okay. Like from a, you're driving down you're to Vision Street through Herbert. Wicker. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I had this on my list, but <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna call whoever yeah, picked course. it if I yeah. didn't get it. Pervert. Yeah, yeah. Sundress, but yeah, yeah. sundress. Yeah, I mean, great. we just spent the last four or five months, you know, under thirty different layers of clothes. You get that first seventy-five. We were gone for it, unfortunately, but you'll start to see them just popping out along, you know, Lincoln Ave or yellow Wells sundress. or Vision. Yeah, yeah that's all exact... the all the pastel girly yeah. colors. I, Dave, I think it's a great pick. No, it is. I, I again, I fully, I had it, and They're... I would have said that's not that's yeah, that's picked. not even a horny pick. Yeah. There's orange or well. No, yellow. Yellow. It's got to go. Yellow? It's got to be yellow. Really? Yeah, sure. That like Easter yellow yeah, yeah. color? Yellow with maybe some pink in it. Yeah. I kind of like the uh, the turquoise. Like a light, yeah. you know, I'm like, not like a bluish. Turquoise. Yeah. Turquoise. Yeah, I don't know about bluish. that. <laughs> That seems crazy. It's like an Easter one. You want yeah. to see like the Miami Dolphins sundress? Yeah. yeah. Who, yellow is one <laughs> one. one yellow is one yeah. one. Yellow or even white. Uh, orange ain't that either. Great. White's great. great. That's great. Little little flowers on yeah. there. Maybe it's super girly. Yeah. Maybe white with some yellow. Yeah. 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 I, I mean, it's. I need a little yellow. I don't think there's any bad colors. You know, yellow is turquoise. Color, turquoise is maybe. You'd no. want to see a. Am I thinking of teal? You'd want to see a maroon sundress. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Why no, not? You need, no, a light you need color. all <laughs> all the little pastels. I think. I think. Yeah. I think. I think it'd go maroon. I think I'd like. No, that. you that's wouldn't. Like a, no, that's, mar- that's gr- maroon's like the worst color. That's like a dark winter, like depressing color. Yeah, but you know, you need those vibrant, like yeah. That's a football color. uniform uh, color, not yeah. a sundress color. Yeah, right. I, I'm fine with any color. Okay, maroon sundress. I just Google. But the it. the Get sundress is, is. Let me see the a picture key. of it. It's the start of the show. I don't even think you could find. Yeah. It's going to be like a bridesmaid dress. Hold on, hold on. From like yeah, no, you can't. Wedding. You can't. They are bridesmaids. I'm looking at them right now. No, 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 no. Yeah, you can't find a maroon sundress. That one all the way to the left. This one is right. Sundress color. No, no, no it's see, that's terrible. Yeah, yeah, you can't find nope. it. So no, no, no. Point, point us. It's just you know, for the sake. I might, of if you picked it, Ed, I might have had to veto based on that. Like, yeah. you don't even know what a sundress is. Yeah, I do. I had, this was just the closest one that they had, so I tried to. You want me to get you out of this with my pick? Go. I'm taking the Masters. Mm. I love the Masters. I'm not. I kind of only watch the the majors at this point. But this is like to me. Like we talked about different kickoffs of spring, but this one, like you know, the weathers are finally nice. You got the azaleas, the green grass, the song, the music. Uh, usually some drama on Sunday. It's it's a great event. It's like it. Um, all the other majors, like they're all they're all cool in their own way. Nothing touches the Masters. It's the only one that's in the same spot every year. Set your calendar to it. The Masters is great. Yeah, it's a good one. It's a good pick. Good pick. I had it, obviously. What are you smiling about? Over I, I thank you. This is why it's good to do it live. Thanks to Cliff Demartini. I meant like a seafoam green, like a mint ship. <laughs> right. A mint ship. That's what what did meant. you say initially? I said like a turquoise. I meant yeah. like a mint ship, all right? My okay, apologies. yeah, that, that's, that's better. That's a little bit better, yeah. yeah. That's better. You're going what, in the right direction. Which well, green Masters back to This you. is a 40-year-old virgin situation. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, the sundresses. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The color yeah. of Mississippi <laughs> State's uniforms. That's <laughs> yeah. what I like. Yeah. No, he said that, and I said there's no bad color. That, I did there not say There are bad room. colors. Definitely there are. are. There are. Uh, okay, good pick. Masters is on my list as well. I will go with my next pick. Hold on, my notes. Oh. Been rainy recently, though. That's that's been a bummer. That's an, why is that a bummer? For, when when Augusta's rainy, yeah. Well, yeah. at Augusta, sure. Yeah, yeah. But if it's rainy that's, here, no, that's fine for no, me. No, that's fine. But yeah. the Augusta, yeah. rainy sucks. Yeah, you almost definitely. want it rainy. Where definitely. You are. Tree almost killed a couple guys. Like yeah, that. that's not good. That's true. Uh, okay, I'll go with uh, the first. The first time you you play beer pong or beer beer die outside with your friends, drinking games better. outside, drinking games outside, that like you're like, oh shit, it's forty five degrees, it's fifty degrees, we can go outside now to play these games. It feels like it's seven afternoon, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, nothing better. 
get the get the the tunes cranking, maybe a little grill going. Oh, that's just that first that smoke wafting. Yeah, yeah. That, that first first drinking outside with your friends. Uh, okay. I kind of this is kind of redundant, but I kind of want to do it. Um, the first time you could go on the porch, and you're like, oh, yeah. like the porch is it's an option again. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's exactly. We're back. Exactly. We're back. Yeah, you get the table outside, and mm-hmm. you're just like, fuck, this rocks. <sighs> okay. Mm, I got to think about this one. All right. I'll, I'll, so this is a little different. This is a little different than that, because that's specifically like at your house or your apartment, and you're, you're playing games outside. But I also think – the, one of the best spring activities is when you get back into day drinking, like full on day drinking, because you don't really do it in the winter. That's I true. mean, you can in the winter, but it just doesn't feel the same when I you're think just. If you do it in the winter, you might. It's, that's like a red flag. Yeah, you might be an alcoholic. Yeah, yeah but <laughs> yeah. like that, 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 like first, like this, it happened probably this weekend in Chicago where it's like, you know, 65 degrees. And you get that itch, and you're like, let's fucking hit a bar at, at like noon. Why not? And then let's just go all day. And that day drinking, it's just when it comes back in your life, there's nothing better. It also helps you have multiple events that make it okay. Yeah. 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 Like the Masters, like March yep, Madness, yep, like yep. St. Pat- Patrick's. Yeah, it kind of eases you back in. It yeah. gives you a reopening day. It's all social. Yeah. It's yeah. it's day drinking comes back in the spring, and there's and, and you basically have like, you know, six months of day drinking, and there's nothing better. Day drinking is the best. Yeah. I mean, it's so good that you basically took it back to back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I did. They're a little different, but yeah, it kind of is. Like, Both big cats' yeah. picks yeah. are sitting next to it's each other. It's like when I took all ice cream. on the table. Yeah. 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 March Madness and drinking outside yeah. and yeah. drinking outside again. <laughs> yeah, I have another one that's basically the same. Wait see if I can just get it. A little bit. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. The, f- the first day drinks nice. Yeah. Chief. I'll take the NHL playoffs. I think that f- the first round of the NHL playoffs, so it happens like mid-April, where I don't know if you guys relate to that as much. It's fucking chaos. Yeah. Like I feel like you get into those overtime games. There's always more fights in that round because the teams are a little bit like uneven. Everybody's amped up. The play gets to the next level. When your team is in it, it is like the most intense. Like it's the best. It's the best. Like there's nothing better than that big game feeling. And the NHL playoffs, the sport. I don't know. It's. I feel like it's the most dramatic increase in play mm-hmm. versus the other ones like it looks like a, it's a different game if you played that way for 82 games you'd be dead yeah and it's just it's fucking awesome and i i can't wait i want to be done with the blackhawks and i just want to be a neutral fan like betting on uh the nhl playoffs they so might I, be the best playoffs and i don't even care about hockey yeah, yeah. and there was yeah. nothing better when the blackhawks were good yeah. oh, and it was awesome. like you you'd get the schedule and you'd be like all right like here are the nights we're going to go out. Yep. And like mm-hmm. you get, even if you get like that Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, it's like, all right, we're going to go out Thursday. Then we play it like noon on Sunday. We're going to go out for that one yep. day drinking. Uh, that's the best. When and you just, schedule your whole calendar around your team playing. And like we, I've had been a couple of those like triple overtime games yeah. that run and you're like, you know, so you're, you basically, you get home at 3 a.m. or later sometimes and you just wake up at your normal, you know, 536 for work the next day and it doesn't even matter. Like you yeah. don't even care. Like they won usually and it, it was just the best so i yeah. love the nhl playoffs the all the blood and the fights and it's like that that level of hockey is just the absolute best yeah when you're uh when your team's in it it's like groundhog day you get like two extra months of summer yeah you yeah early true and then the, as the game as the rounds progress the weather gets nicer and you're just like ooh, this is, mm-hmm. this yeah. is awesome yeah the only thing i guess like it of course it takes place in the spring but as far as like a spring feel like not really there, just because it's an you don't indoor, think so because it's an indoor sport. You uh, know? I think there's something, especially like when you're when you're walking down Madison and it's like a little bit warm out, or like watching it, it like at a bar in the back patio. Yeah, like that definitely makes it feel spring. Sport. Yeah, well, and it's also an, another excuse to drink. But I, you know, obviously, like I'm a ho- hardcore hockey guy, but I love when the whole city and the whole yeah. like universe is like kind of or sports universe. Every bar's is packed. Yeah, locked in, and it's. It's the only time that that happens for hockey, and it's like right when that you know that mid-April, which is like the hardest spring. And I do think that I think the first round is better than the second and third round. Like that first round with all the games going on, Easily. four games a night. They're all they're all there's something dramatic happening at least once or twice a day. Yeah, it's great. It's yeah. the absolute best. I had it on my list, big time. White Sox, Dave. I wasn't quite done talking about initial playoffs. Give us a, I mean, I, I can't, there's nothing too much to add. I, like, 
I just want to reiterate that I don't care about hockey, and the NHL playoffs is just exhilarating start to finish. Yeah. Wait, so, I, Dave, you also don't care about baseball anymore because it's boring. What do you care about? There's not a whole lot, Dan. Yeah, yeah. It's tough. The light is out of your eyes. It is. Nah, we'll we'll, <laughs> we'll get back one day, hopefully. You know what? I mean, he's he's kind of a big pot well, now. No, oh. that's not true. <laughs> that's not true. Um, I know. Interesting. I've. It's it's gateways to other things. I'm. That's a joke. Um, oh. <laughs> I was going to. Well, Ed just completely threw me off there. Well, you said what do you care like, about? What do you like, care about, Dave? He's like heroin. <laughs> yeah, heroin. Yeah, pretty much. Just like anything to numb the pain. Okay, of not... being a sports fan. Um, no, well, you I have mean, to have no, a purple. Northwest Northwestern's basketball. Okay, they looked awesome. Their three starters are out for the year. Yeah, well, two of them, one may come back. So tough. Yeah, yeah. Like nothing. I I root there's just for nothing does. left for you. Yeah, we got to find well. something for you. I have all the things. I picked them out. And I hand selected them. I want these things to do well, but they don't do well. Yeah. So it's at this point, it's like, all right, I'm, I'm like, I'm going, I'm along for the ride with you guys. Just like, let me know when you decide to be good again. Yeah. You know, so that might not ever be. That could never be. And if it isn't, then I just die miserable, little jaded asshole. You're like, what? um, But on that note, I will have patios to drink on because during the spring patio start to open and there is nothing better than drinking on a patio. Is that your pick? Yeah. Is that what Dan picked? Bar patio? I don't think I think no. that's different. Drinking games drinking. outside and day drinking. Wait, are you talking about bar patios? Yeah, or? bar patios. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. Patio. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. That's All right. that's fair. Yeah, I think when the bar patio is open, that's definitely fair. What distinguishes a? Well, I guess I know, but a patio is is like something in front and then a beer garden's in the back. Is that the difference? No, I think no, they're, they're all patios. They're kind of the same. Are they? Right. I think when I think of like a quintessential like Chicago bar patio, it's like Kirkwood's. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. That, that's a that back patio. scene is yeah. like a great scene. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Will's is like a good get a one. get Wills a table. Yeah, yeah, get a table spot up for a while. Like you know, let it get a little cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, bar pet. Yeah, that's a good pick. Yeah. yeah, that's when they start crew necks. Yeah, washing yeah. them off. They got the dirty snow. Yeah, has yeah, to do yeah, on yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Like just hose them down, throw them out there, and you're good to go. Yeah. That's great. Hang yeah, the TVs ready. up. Yeah, makes me want to do like a day at Cody's when the weather turns a little bit. Love to. Yeah. Um, to me, I'm going to take getting an hour of sunlight back. Mm. It, That's this week, right? Yeah, this week. Uh, Saturday and s- to Sunday, like that midnight, I think. The difference of a 7 p.m. darkness versus a 5 p.m. is yeah, astronomical. It's huge. It's huge. Yeah, I was in Indy for the combine, and obviously Indy is East Coast time, and it's like right on the edge. And I was so confused when it was like six thirty. I was like, "Why is it so light out?" Yeah, yeah, it's, no, it's it does huge. feel great. It really is. And uh, Chief, I'll let your mood different. all that much better. I know daylight savings is the dumbest shit in the world. You know, he's, we were he's supposed pro. to be no, this, Why are you pro? This is I. Th- this you like, like it when it goes when it's dark at no, three forty five? No, no yep. I never said that. I said that if I had the choice between daylight at six or daylight uh, at six a.m. or daylight at six p.m., I'd rather have it in the morning when I'm up, like walking the dog, doing all that disagree. shit. I know everybody disagrees, but like when I'm home and it's it, during the winter when it's cold and dark, I'm just sitting home watching no, TV. No, so but you got to remember that too. Anyway. Like this is one of those moments where we have to take ourselves out of the world we live in because our life is just like a joke and we live like the best life in the world. There was nothing worse than going to work when it was dark and then leaving work and it's dark. Terrible. The worst. Yeah. I'm not advocating for the the dead, like December 21st when you have eight hours of darkness or eight hours of sunlight. But if I could have it be, you know, if it's a norm, if it's 12 hours, okay. And it has to be dark at either one. I like, I like the summer when you get 18 hours of sunlight. Yeah. That's of course, ideal. Of but course. if I'm choosing, if, you, if, you, I, if like I said you have 12 light. hours, you would rather have it get dark at six than, and light at six. Yeah. Then, then light I want seven and dark at seven. I feel that's bad. a bad take. I yeah, feel better. Bad I feel take. better. Very bad take. I feel better when I just I'd wanted like, to understand what you were out. saying. Now that yeah. I've understood it. You still Bad hate team. it. Yeah, I, terrible. I, I, well, we disagree. Terrible We've been battling team. with him on this for. Years. I've been. I'm like the Jon Snow character in this. Yeah. Like, like I'm that meme where I'm battling the entire internet. Ryan Whitney, that fucking idiot too. And I'm. I like it. I like it when it's late on the morning. I wake up early. That's what I like. Yeah, terrible take. <laughs> I don't really have anything else to say. I think terrible, Ed terrible took that just to set me up. I'm not conversation. Great part of spring. Yeah. No, oh, I agree. More sunlight, the better. When it's lighter. Yeah, well, that too. 
Uh, before we get into the fourth round, I want to talk about Portillo's. It always sounds good. You know the name, but what should you get? Chicago-style hot dogs and Italian beefs are the classics. You can even get your beef dipped in extra gravy and jardinera. Having people over, fast pack catering options are available for easy snacking. Want some bets? The big beef combo is a good parlay. Tossing a side dog, some onion rings, you earned it. Big night out, Portillo's delivers. Cheese fries and a cake shake are the perfect combo. Walking the dog, can't go wrong with a cake shake. Uh, we were just at Portillo's Heaven in Arizona uh, last Portillo's week. Portillo's Palace. Yeah, Portillo's yeah. Palace is sponsored the house. Shout out to them. We had Portillo's there all the time. And they also, like low-key, go on their website. Check out their merch. They have so Merches. many cool things. Fire. Yeah. Like all the shirts were great. People were making fun of that uh, pajama set that yeah. I was wearing. It's probably the most comfortable clothes yes. I've ever worn. The material's real nice. Yeah, it's like it's like a waffle, like light, airy cotton thing. It's awesome. Mm-hmm. So and all their I, stuff looks great. All ever obviously if you're listening to this, you like snake drafts. Last Thursday on the mid show we snake drafted uh Portillo's items. So if you're not familiar uh, with Portillo's, if you're not from Chicago or <clears throat> just moved here or something. Go listen to that little snake draft, and you will get everything. We are, everything you need to. We are in an era of like feels like Portillo's manifest destiny now. Yeah, like they're down in Texas, they're in Arizona, they're in California, Florida, Florida. They're expanding everywhere. So, if you're listening to this nationally, find a Portillo's near you because it is the best fast food you can get. Visit your local Portillo's or go to Portillo's.com to order your Chicago dog for pickup or delivery. Portillo's, it always sounds good. All right, I'm going to take something here in the fourth round that I think is getting great value. I think it went overlooked because we don't experience it anymore. But we have a wide audience, and we all experience experience this at one point. And it's spring break. Yeah, I wasn't a spring break guy just because I'm fat. Yeah, yeah. but even even uh, just the, just the week off was nice. Yeah, I just couldn't I, like, charge the bats. Everyone's going to Mexico. It's like I'm not in shape. I can't, well, I can't take my shirt it. off. So you got to yeah, try to do a cycle. Shirt off. <laughs> Let it fail. Yeah, and you <laughs> always saw the guys working out in yeah. the gym and like getting ready for spring break, and I was like, I don't think. But I this is also that. this is like a college high school thing, like mostly college. I didn't do it in high school even. I'm on with like family to like Disney. Yeah, now it's break. a pain in the ass for me. Oh yeah, that's I'm yeah. Sure. yeah, yeah. Because I like my wife was like, "What are we gonna do for spring break?" And I was like, "March Madness." Uh, She's like, well, what do you mean? I was honey, like, "Well, it's we March have Madness." Kids. Yeah, yeah. You guys can go somewhere. So, <laughs> Here's my yeah, card. It's actually a pain in the you ass. You guys want to come to the gambling cave? For <laughs> yeah, break? right. Exactly. Right. Here you go. Go to Kalahari. You'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. yeah send him up to the Dells. <laughs> I was never in good enough shape to, to, to do like a full, pure spring break. Yeah, so. I played baseball. We That was our spring trip. So. It fucking rules, though. I did it one year. Went to PCB my senior year, and it's like one of the best weeks ever. My, my college friends, like in our group chat, to this day, tell PCB stories. Yeah, it's it's. And that was 15 years th- ago. Didn't they shut it down? Yeah, they got yeah. rid of it. Yeah, they don't. What like, do you mean? They got rid of spring break. In in. What do you <laughs> mean? So what they did that effectively eliminated it is they stopped allowing drinking on the beach. Oh. Yeah. This is where Dak Prescott got fucked up? Yes, I think <laughs> yeah, that was. Yeah. That yeah. video has gone. That's gone. That's rever- that's aged even worse now that you get like Cam Newton and like Pac- Pac-Man Jones beating the fuck out of regular guys. Yeah, randoms. And you're like, shit. Dak Prescott really got his ass kicked. Was it one on one? I think it was. I think he was outnumbered, which definitely helps him a little bit. But still, like that Cam Newton video was crazy. He yeah, beat that no guy's shit. Ass. He's, a, he's yeah. just a beast of a human being. Mm-hmm. And then you see Dak Prescott just like getting yeah. absolutely. Smushed in a parking lot in, at PCB. It's like a scraped head. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah, spring break. So for, shout out to the younger crowd that still gets to experience these. Uh, what's next, Dave? Um, this one, is, I'm sure it's gonna get shit on, but I don't care. It's one of my favorite parts of spring. Everything's just more green. I love greenery. Leaves blooming. It it's took green. Greenery. Okay. Yeah, grass is growing a little darker hue of green. Okay. It's not like as dead looking. Everything looks more alive. It just puts you in a better mood. Okay. I'm not going to give you shit. I actually think this is okay. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. 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 It's not fun, but everybody definitely agrees with me. No, the trees give them coming back to life. Yeah. Birds. Nice birds to hear chirping. the birds again. Yeah. Birds show up. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Okay. Yeah. Just... yeah, when you're walking your dog at six in the morning, it's a little mm-hmm. green, a little yeah. dew on the ground. Yeah. Birds yeah. chirping. It's great. It's lovely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. To me, yeah, you're up. Taking egg shaped Reese's. Mm. To me, this is this is my number one candy in the world. The Reese's, the egg is the best shape. You only get it around Easter. I had to have it on my board. I love those egg shaped Reese's. I They're feel great. Like about I had them before. as well. Some there's just something different about like the chocolate to peanut butter proportion that just just elevates the whole thing. Yep. Uh, so egg shaped Reese's. 
Can I can I just rant for a second on something related? I don't think anyone's going to have it. Please. I I think that uh, it's the dumbest thing that happens online every year around springtime when people just slander peeps for no reason. Peeps aren't that bad. Ooh, they're they're not like, like candy corn. I don't like marshmallows either. They're not that bad. They're not great. I think candy corn are better than peeps. Oh, I don't. I think candy corn is gross. I don't like. Yeah, candy that's. Corn, oh, but I, I candy corn's like you can candy have. Candy corn's you, not better than you any. have like one handful oh, no. of candy corn. You're like that's enough for the year. I'm good. I've had my candy corn this year. No, peeps, I think it, peeps just people just bash peeps. And again, they're not like they're not Reese's. They're not like incredible, but they're definitely not as bad as people make them out to be. I think the glitter on them, like the I fucking, like that. You like kind that? Of a weird texture. It's fun. I like peeps. How, how many do you eat in the spring? I don't know, a couple packages. Oh, that's a lot. You of don't peeps. like peeps. I, I like them. I like peeps. I like marshmallows. Yeah, that's what they are. I that's like a peeps. good point. They're they're decorated. They're a good throw in. But I, I they just get bashed so so much, and it's just free internet points. It's like they're not as bad as people make them out to be. Again, it's the candy corn. Like candy corn deserves the hate. It's like a communion wafer. It's kind of nothing, but they're no, not. No, it's more than that. And you can eat a lot of them. They don't fill you up. I like peeps. Guilty no, as charged. peeps are bad. No, I, I disagree. I peeps think peeps are, are I, peeps, peeps are fine. They might not. You, I will take. They're not good or bad. They're fine. That's fine. I won't argue off of that. Mm -hmm. But they get they get cast as like the most disgusting thing out there. There are worse if things. If Paige orders a bunch for the office and they're in the kitchen, there, I won't. I won't. I won't touch. I'd one. eat them all. How many peeps are we talking? I, I could eat as many peeps as you want me to. Eat. Really? Yeah. I dare you to do a peep a day in, in April. A peep a day? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll do it. No problem. I'll do a peep a day. Get the peeps here. A daily I'll, peep. I'll walk in and I'll just eat a peep every single day. It's daily peep. No fucking problem. And do you think you'll like them after that month or not? Yeah, they're marshmallows. Who doesn't <laughs> like marshmallows? Yeah, marshmallows are great. And they also like, again, they're they're like air. You eat 100 marshmallows, nothing. You eat a lot. Uh, uh -huh. Okay. My pick, I have two picks. Yeah. Yeah, egg shape reefs are great, by the way. Last two picks. Okay. Um, all right, I will go uh, cruising with the windows down. Oh, oh, that's a great one. Yep, that was my next pick. Hitting some music, cruising with the windows down. Mm -hmm. Who's Nothing who like are you blasting? Drive. Yeah, who's your windows down? Because there, there's definite music. windows down music and yeah. spring music. My spring music is almost always two things: Almond Brothers and Love Sublime. It. Sublime oh. is a great spring music. It's band. spring summer, sure. Yeah, especially if you get like that, it goes into ties into the first drinking game outside. You throw on Sublime and you're Sublime, Sublime, and you just let it fucking roll. That's that gets you in the mood. It's a good. But yeah, one. there's nothing better than uh, the, it's a great windows band. down, top down, like just fucking hitting hitting the road and just driving around. Like I'll just drive, you know. I was planning on winning the draft with that in my fifth round. It's a great, yeah, it's a great pick by me. Yeah. Uh, okay. Anything I, from like the beach rock genre? Yeah, mine. Mine. I ask because mine's slightly stupid, and that's like cousins with Sublime. Yeah. All right. Uh, I guess I have to take it because no one's going to take it. But I mean, the NBA playoffs are great. I like the NBA playoffs. No, you guys just don't like basketball. No, nah, yeah, nah. I. I've been. They've been giving me shit. I'm kind of back in on the NBA. I think the NBA is more interesting now than it's been any time in the last 15. Years. I. I am. I'm a very transparent NBA fan. Like I watch the Bulls. And I will watch the playoffs. Like, I don't – I can't get invested in the NBA in the middle of January. I just can't because I know that, like, the teams that are good in the middle of January, like, once you get to the playoffs, it's the best players that matter. But I love the NBA – I love that first weekend when you get eight games on Saturday and Sunday and it's just wall-to-wall. -wall. I, I love the NBA playoffs. I do. My, I think it's great. It, I, I think it's like the opposite of hockey where it – the first round, you just – it does the first. Yeah, there's round, not as many upsets. Yeah, but you do have like as it builds and you get some like great matchups and like there's nothing better when they when they schedule that like uh, that first round or second round game seven on a Sunday afternoon. You get to watch that. Like yeah, everyone could get around with, with a game seven. Right. Yeah. I just love. I like the NBA playoffs. Guilty as charged. I appreciate Eastern that. It NBA matters. playoffs. That makes. Me <laughs> are you are you criminal? just saying that you actually like them? Because yes, the I do. Draft and you're trying to like. No, I, I, I've. Proven that I do not pander on these snake drafts when I That's took true. five types of ice cream. <laughs> okay, so I I give you my picks how I feel them, and I I love the NBA playoffs. I do. I I just I know basketball gets shit on a lot, but the playoffs are what matters, and 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 you get the actual teams trying at their max level. I'm not. If you say NBA regular season's boring, I agree with you. The playoffs rock. 
I appreciate, yes, I appreciate that it matters. Not like the 82 exhibition games that they play before. Right, it. yes. And I, obviously it sucks because the Bulls haven't been in a meaningful playoff series in like almost a decade. Since but, Derek Rosny. Yeah, it's probably like the 2015 when we played, when we were up 2-1 on the Cavs. And then LeBron faked his ankle injury. I was at that game. LeBron faked his ankle injury and then hit a game winner. I was like, well, that was yeah. fun. Uh, but yeah, like NBA playoffs rock. For a fifth rounder, I think it's yeah. that's solid. I love it. Yeah, I, I, the Bulls are good again. I'll I'll care. More. Oh yeah, I mean that would that's be just, yeah. That we would have a lot better feelings if the Bulls were the two seed right now. There totally. was it. There is something I'm, about like the momentum, like at a home playoff game. Like if your team goes on a run in a home NBA playoff game, like there's nothing like it just builds and builds and builds yeah. and builds. And like that's we haven't had that in forever. But that is awesome. When that I happens. remember I got in trouble at a baseball we so we just got the shit kicked out of us by Carthage College and my coach after the game we lost by like 12 runs I was checking in on the Bulls Celtics box score and that was a game where Rose went off for like 36 or 38 points against the the big three and it was oh the um one Ben Gordon yeah when he was when he had an insane <coughs> series too he was so fucking was good. So good. But I cared about basketball for so much in that playoff series so much at a point that I was willing to check my phone in the middle of baseball games when we're getting our fucking tits blown off our chest and our coach <laughs> did not like that. Yeah. But yeah, cool. NBA playoffs are uh-huh. I, I'm a big fan of them. They are great. Guilty when you're charge. Great I like sure. sports. Again, I'll say it one more time. You say that you don't like the NBA regular season, I'm fucking with you one hundred percent. Although the Saturday night games have been great. So now I like a little bit of that regular season. Like I watched the Nuggets Lakers on Saturday night. It was a great game. Like they they've done a good job of making good Saturday night games. Yeah. But yeah, the uh when you just also there's just no better feeling than like leaving work and being like I have four NBA playoff games and four NHL playoff uh, yeah. games to watch tonight. Like you just the week just flies when you have that. All right, do you think that the in season tournament's gonna I don't give a fuck about that. <laughs> like I said, I think I'm I think I'm actually the most uh I think I'm the most well represented NBA fan at this point because I there are a lot of people who are like NBA is the best, like the regular season's awesome. That's bullshit. And then people are like NBA sucks. I'll never watch another game. That's also bullshit. Mm-hmm. Regular season don't give a fuck. NBA playoffs I'm all the way in. All right, Chief. Uh, I'll go with the triple crown races. I love all those triple crown races. It's a nice little like nugget. You know, in the middle of like all the NBA, NHL playoffs, when you switch over and you're just like, you know, right before the before they break, you put your bets in. I've, since COVID, I feel like I just bet I just bet every race all day long, uh, and I love horse racing, so I'm taking that. Dan kind of took my last windows down pick. Yeah, it's a great pick. Yeah, it's a great pick. Triple Crown races are great. Luckily, although it advocated doesn't... for peeps, and I feel like that should be reflected on yeah how you vote. Belmont kind of loses its luster if you don't get the two out of the three. yeah. That's true. That's true. But the, 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 the Pharaoh, that was like an awesome. I remember I actually watched that at uh, Tie It All In, the spring activities. I watched American Pharaoh uh, outside of the Tampa Bay Lightning. Uh, oh, arena. yeah. With third leg, Greg? It was like game three or four of the Stanley Cup final. Was that the hot dog game? The that full, might have full been. Uniform? No, that was the Kings. When we got smushed by the Kings out in L.A. Oh, okay. oh no, wait. No, that I was the Lightning. You're right, you're right, you're right. The Kings yeah. was a different game, yes. But, yeah, that's like that, that was all of it. We, like, yeah. watched it on the big screen and then went into the game. Yeah, third yeah. leg Greg, man. Third leg Greg. Third leg Greg, yeah. shout out to him. Yeah. 75 jobs. You guys still talk or not? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Yeah. Maybe he'll See, pop That's why we need a good then. teams again. I know. Yeah. I know. Guys like that. like to stand on. Yeah. yeah. Guys like that just appear. I just yeah. – I, 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 There's – for people who don't know that when the Blackhawks were in the final against the Lightning, and there was this radio, like he's like he had like it's like the in jobs. arena announcer. Yeah, and yeah. we started talking shit, and his name his name was Third Leg Greg, and we got into like a battle <laughs> online. And then we, I went down to Tampa to the games, and they invited me on the radio show, and I showed up in a full hockey uniform, <laughs> pads, everything. Yeah, that was part of the bet still, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh. No, no, that oh, was, that was that. you're right. That was I just years went earlier. to war, and I went <laughs> like, at like 8 a.m. on a Saturday at Tampa Bay Radio. I yeah. there's like no one listening, and I just showed up, and he started like – he started charity shaming me. He's like, what do you do? Like charity wise. Yeah. He's like, dude, what are you talking about? He's like, I do this, this, and this is like, I'm, no offense, man, but like you just listed like 17 part-time jobs. I don't think you have a job. <laughs> he got very upset about yeah. that. Well, credit to Third Leg Greg for uh, charity shaming you. Yeah. I like you. Yeah. done a lot for charity. Yeah, he yeah, charity yeah. shamed the shit out of me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I did forget that he charity shamed you. Yeah. That's great. You don't do charity? I was like, I, yeah, I do. I just don't 
show off. It's not the first it. thing I say when I walk in a room. Like, hey guys, charity. What a move. <laughs> what a move. Yeah. I think I'm gonna start doing that. <laughs> like charity for charity. Yeah. yeah. Uh White Sox, Dave. Um, I was gonna <clears throat> bitch about Bob Baffert and how much I fucking hate that cocksucker. But um I'm just gonna go. You see you see a lot more puppies around in the spring. That's true. You see them everywhere. Yeah. Okay, I had something similar. So what's your actual pick? Puppies? You just see more puppies around. Just puppies. Puppies. Okay. Puppy yeah. season. I, I, everybody I had a, out more, so naturally yeah. you're going to see more puppies. I, had, I, I like also think people spring. time getting their puppies, like they don't want to be like potty training in the dead and of winter. That, yeah, like, exactly. Like, dry. Hand up. I did that. I got George during the, during the polar vortex. Like that fucking sucked. Yeah, yeah. Bad, I wish bad I was move. smarter about that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the... Um, yeah, the the puppies I I had on my list just like taking your dog for a long walk. Yeah, that that's always a nice like your you know like you, your dog gets like grass again and it's just that's the best feeling. Yeah. Like, I, like, let's uh, just go for an hour long walk. So like two weeks back when we had our first nice day, I I like to take this straight shot from my house all the way. It's like two miles straight down and two miles back. So you're walking for an hour and fifteen minutes or whatever, and I look at my phone and. And this is after like walking for an hour and I hadn't even been looking at my phone and it said Kate Mannion sent you a text message and it was a picture of me walking my dog on the street. And I'm like, this is very weird. I don't know who Kate Mannion is. It was just Kate. Oh, yes. Well, I, walked yeah, past yeah. Her. I didn't know her last she walked past her house. Yeah. And she sniped a picture of me yeah, from she her was, like she, top floor. Yeah. She threw her, her back out. So she yeah. was just like, uh, she explained it on the yak. She was just basically for four months, like the old neighborhood lady that just watches everyone's business. Yeah. That's what <laughs> she, she was doing. sat in the front window and just watched everyone in the neighborhood, like pass by. She like knows. When people it was, it was yeah. very creepy. I didn't know who her last name and it like went to her. It's like, could be Kate Mannion. And I'm like, Oh, Yes. Okay. Yeah. But, oh, yeah, and then more puppies around. Sniped. Eddie hates that pick. Yeah. yeah. And talk about how much you hate that nah, pick. I love the pick. It's a great pick. Uh, great I think pick. it was springtime when you ignored that golden it retriever was. when we were getting our billboard. Tough. It might have been summer. Nah, I think that was spring. Was like we were wearing crew nicks. Yeah. yeah. Was it? No, it was summer. Tough. I was in a I'm going to guess Tough. April, May. No, no, no. Tough. No. Good pick. Good pick. Beautiful puppy that was. Great one. Yep. Nice pander. <laughs> um,. I love puppies. Last pick, Mr. Irrelevant. I listen, there's nothing like seeing the seasonal ice cream shops reopening. Eh, yep. Hey, Ed. Yep. You nailed it. It's great. There's a DQ by me. They put these fucking huge, like red fucking borders all over the windows. Yep. And right when you start peeling them off, you're like, all right, we're close. Yeah, and the, and the ones, especially the ones that close for the winter. Yeah. Like yep. a Nets on Armitage would close for the winter, and then mm-hmm. when it reopens, like, yep, I'm back. Ice cream time. Although you see the war on ice cream, people are trying to fight. Like, whoa, whoa! Yeah, Clay Travis is going after Joe Biden. No politics involved, but he was like, "Grown men shouldn't go get ice." Cream I by saw themselves. that. I was like, "What the fuck else would we?" What does that mean? Even the most staunch Republican on earth can right. take one look and be like, "Hey, at least we have this in common." Yeah, we like ice cream. Ice cream yeah, fine. it's ice cream. It's just, yeah. it's just politics just ruin people's brains where they come out with the take of grown men shouldn't eat ice cream what themselves. an idiot i saw that i was disgusted. It, i mean yeah. this is america you should be able to do whatever you want correct ice cream yeah. i speaking of the i want to combine these two picks because i went took george for quasi long walk by his standards and then i just happened to pass a uh, dairy queen on the way back so i stopped yeah. off for a blizzard you gotta so, stop yeah. but it, but it is key to note like obviously like baskins are open tw- fucking 24 7 right know? But the ones that are like the local ones that are you yep. know open for the season, yeah. yep, like that's a big day. You yeah, get is. yourself a dilly bar tonight, Ed. I don't know if they're open yet. It might be. The weather's open. nice enough, and it's March. I feel like they should be. Open. They, should, they should, but yeah. you know, they should go off the weather. Yeah, yeah, they totally should. I actually had a, a bunch of honorable mentions. Yeah, let's do it. What do you got? Okay, um, I had uh, napping with the windows open. That's a great one. Yep. I slept with them open last night. Same. The yeah. best. Yeah, that's why you're that, like Saturday, Probably. Sunday afternoon nap where you keep your windows open. You get that breeze coming in. Cause you can't really do it in the summer when it's hot. Yeah. Like, it's just that's mm-hmm. the best. Um, similar to my other two picks, but outdoor brunch. Mm-hmm. That's kind of leads into day drinking. But that first outdoor brunch, it's great. Uh, what else did I have? Oh, for the for the parents out there, like parks reopening for your kids is huge. Because oh, that's just, yeah. on the weekends, that's an in, insane lifesaver where you can be like, let's just go to the park for like two hours. No German fest at children's museums. Right? Yeah, just let that's them run right. around, let them do whatever they want. Yeah. There's just nothing better. It just, it's it's a great, and then you can sit on a park bench, get a little sun, just relax. Like, Are kids like dogs? You just take them to the park and they're 
for an hour and then they're just cooked the rest of the day. They can't keep their eyes open. No, okay. <laughs> not at all. Literally, <laughs> that's the why I asked. Yeah. No, they never run yeah. out of energy. Literally, never run out of energy. Constant. Yeah. Constant. It's. Oof. That sounds tough. It is constant energy. There's no. There's no. There's no down. There's like a little, maybe low in the afternoon. You're like we'll throw on a movie, but that's no, mm-hmm. no, no. Dogs, no. That, I can tell you're being very serious. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. it's not. I'm, I'm just thinking about the last this past weekend. Is like there was no break. There was zero break. But I'm sure you get tricked every time into thinking like, oh, yeah. this will wear them out. Yeah. No, you, no, no, you're, no, you're like, no, this. it's, it's all about, it's just, it's just, uh, killing the clock. Yeah. So it's not like two hours at the park's going to wear them out. It's two hours at the park gets me two hours closer to bedtime. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So it's just a clock killing from the minute we wake up to the minute they go to sleep. It's like, let's just, let's keep, let's keep it moving. Mm-hmm. You know, four corners offense, pass the ball <laughs> around. Is it kind of seen as like a, like, like an intermission though of some sorts? What? Where like you could go, you go to the locker room, like they're in the playground, they're going on the slide. And like you're unclipping your shoulder pads and like just breathing. No, the park is no. It's the opposite. It's like that, that's what you build the whole day, the structure of the day around. You're like we're gonna go to the park, and so it's like that's when you that that's the big thing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. What else did I have? Um, uh, it's sundresses. Do, do, do. Taking your dog to the park, kind of similar. Uh, bar patios. We talked about. Yeah, I think that's all I got. You got any, Chief? I had switching to iced coffee. I, mm. I am kind of like a seasonal. Like, if it's cold out, I'm drinking hot. If it's hot out, I'm drinking cold. So, like, we went to Arizona. I got iced coffees the whole time. That was nice. That would have been good. Yeah. Dave? That's a good uh, one. Farmer's markets. I love farmer's markets. I like that. Farmer's markets good That's pick. a good one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Think of that. Farmer's markets. Pick. Uh, master's nap. I was going to try to argue. With it, the but, windows open. But it was kind of already talked about. And, um... I didn't. I'm too sick to fucking argue with Ed right now. So I didn't. I didn't. I thought it was it. allergies. Uh, I'm sick from the allergies. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Not. It's not a. Uh, not gonna transfer to anybody. Shout out all the people who have allergies. Yeah. You guys are fucking pussies. <laughs> you I don't allergies. No. Never had an allergy in my life. Not allergic to anything. That's, God built me in a perfect way. That's nice. Alpha male. <laughs> I do feel bad for people with allergies. Yeah. But uh, not bad enough to. Not make fun of them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Still make fun of them. Mm-hmm. I just don't know how it happens. Like, you're just allergic to the world. To grass? Yeah. To grass. How yeah. is that? I don't know. Yeah, people Like, you would have died grass. back, yeah. like, 200 years ago. You Probably, just would have yeah. died. They didn't have clarity back And, then. like, that, so my strain of human being should be the only one out there right now. Like, we should have just kept on surviving world's without getting soft. allergies. I know. Yep. Not technically that, wrong. I, I, and I, I hate, agree. and I hate what Dave is doing right now. I hate the people who have allergies, but then are actually sick, and they're like, "No, it's allergies," and I know they're fucking lying. Oh, they're that's get everyone sick. People love to lie about bullshit. That. Dave loves to lie about that. They just that's say allergies. Right. I don't like, like you can't have allergies work. this much. <laughs> it's allergies. Yeah, it's allergies. Yeah, I, oh, I the pollen heard, count? and I know this is not as correct. a snot's running out of his nose right now. I heard that if snot. your snot's like clear, or like white, that means allergies. If it's like the bright neon green, sick. And it's just the clear stuff right now. It's like pee. If you're dehydrated or not. Hmm. Um, I got four tax returns. Sometimes it could be bad, but it's nice. I got a I yeah, got no, a letter in the mail a couple of weeks ago saying that I was a thousand short on my taxes last year. I don't know how that's possible considering I just hand all my shit to H and R Block. Red Ed took taxes. Yeah. Yeah. Go figure. Right. Hmm. Are, isn't tax day bad though? Uh, tax day is like the worst day. It's really? I was supposed to get like three yeah. grand back. Still have to do the paperwork. Money. paperwork. I also have just been sucks. living on an extension for like ten years now, so I just do it October fifteenth. <laughs> Don't say that out loud. Yeah. Well, no, oh, I do it every real. year. Yeah, 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 I do it every year. No, we had a, on a different. Situation. No, I've been yeah. on a different timeline. I just yeah. There's I have like one tax form that's always late, so we just been I've been just doing yeah. it October fifteenth, kicking, yeah. kicking the can down the road. But I always got to write a fucking huge check. Oh well. really? Yeah, I mean, it depends on what, but yeah. like, how good your year was. Tax- it could be bad. I said it could be bad. Yeah. Okay, but like sometimes it could. Like that's a nice little boost. Yeah, no, I think tax day is a bad. It's good that you did honorable mentions. I would have ripped that apart otherwise. Yeah, it was. It wasn't a. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't a. a good, it wouldn't have been a good pick. I agree. Yeah. Yeah, Cinco de Mayo. Oh, that's yeah. a great one. That was that's a, always, yeah. I always associate that with the first Saturday of May, though. Too. Yeah, that kind of yeah. is. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes it's on a Thursday. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's a good one though. Uh, uh dude, I, listen. Shout out to April Fool's Day for still kicking. Oh, you're a big April Fool's Day. Not that I'm not. It's on the calendar. Like, like I'm at Google Calendar. It's on there. Like, for the fact that it's on there is crazy in and of itself. 
When's the last I'm not time you actually fooled anybody yet? Forever. I'm not, but I'm just saying. I'm liable. Deserves to, to be mentioned. The internet. That's yeah. all. The fact I don't know. It, I think April Fool's Day got ruined by all the corporate shit. Sure. Like all the brands doing April Fool's Day ruined April Fool's. Sure, but it stood the test of time. I just thought spring draft. You're on the yeah. calendar. You get. You get, just get to get mentioned. Frank the Tank always has a good April Fool's Day blog. I think last year he said like home runs. We're gonna start counting as five. <laughs> Skin like got him. One. See, Great. some people could still pull it off. I believe yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then I had spring rolls. Okay. I like a good spring roll. Yeah. Yeah. The spring rolls stink. Thanks. Spring rocks though. I like yeah. spring. Spring's like. Yeah. Love to have it here. This is also chest is puffed yeah. out. Like you yeah. made it through the winter. Like yeah. we're good. We're gonna have a good one this year. You can already tell because yeah. it's like it's it's gonna be a long one. That's but yeah, all time is, jinx right there. These are the type of uh, like when spring starts to turn its corner and like you're like oh shit the weather's getting nice. This is where I do not understand people who live in like the climates where nothing ever changes. I know this is a way to say that like it's an excuse for winter because winter does suck. I'm not going to be like, oh, I actually like all the seasons. I don't like all the seasons. I don't like winter. But I would hate just living in a place where it's just the same weather every day because the the seasons make it interesting. I agree. Mm -hmm. Like like you earned it. That was the thing out in Arizona because it was 70 and sunny every day. Right. And it's like, ah, oh, fuck that. Fuck, fuck nice I mean, you were day. complaining about how dry it is, how it was fucking you. I You're like, was oh, not so complaining dry. in any way. I'm the only one. I was. That's I was, what he was saying when he was sick in Arizona. He was like, man, this, the dryness. I'm like hacking everything up. I'm like, usually it's the opposite. But he was he was sick. Was he's he's sure. been sick, sick for five yeah, days. Yeah. Sick. I had allergies. to, I mean. It's one of those things you always want. That once I feel like I got it, I'd be like, oh, I kind of missed that. Yeah. I missed yeah. That. So I, I agree with you. Yeah. Um, all right. That's a draft. No one's getting voted off. Spring here is great. Yeah. This yeah. year, not usually. Usually Chicago spring is like we don't two get one. weeks. Wet yeah, it's like two muddy. weeks, Gross. like late yeah. April, early May. And you're like, okay, that was spring. Now it's summer. I do think this might be the worst season, though, in some ways. No, winter's worse. Winter, you got Christmas. You got to – I don't know. Christmas is such a heavy hitter, but spring – no, yeah, winter. Come on. You get four good days in winter. Come on, that winter. Sucks. No, this winter was. Spring is clearly the the all right third. The, it's argue. the third. Yeah, it's no. the third. Stand by your take. But it's, yeah. I mean, it's not. Yeah, it's it's abbreviated. There's a, usually you don't get a huge spring, but yeah. uh, mm-hmm. that's a pretty good list of twenty <clears throat> things, though. I'd say that is. I'll, I'll just list them off. No one's getting voted off, but why not for the people listening on the audio version? Uh, Big Cat March Madness first drinking games outside first day drinking. Uh, cruising with windows down, NBA playoffs, Chiefs, St. Patrick's Day, the Masters, NHL playoffs, egg-shaped Reese's, triple crown races, White Sox Day, first Saturday of May, sundresses, bar patios, greenery, seeing more puppies, Addy Memorial Day weekend, opening day, getting an hour of sunlight back, spring break, seasonal ice cream places reopening. It's a good right. list. Good All list. All these things I'm very excited for. Now, I would like to reiterate that Ed – one, he considered drafting, taxing all of America. No, I said tax yeah. returns. Yeah. He thought about it. I said tax he returns. About it. He thought about it. I said they, tax they, returns. They, you get the return because they already took so much of your yeah. money, though. Well, it's good to get something back. They should it do. doesn't matter the uh, way your he, brain works, seeing something back in your water account. carrying for, for, for Uncle Sam once mm-hmm. again. Yeah, you're big tax man. No, 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 no. Yeah, you are. It's a nice. Yeah, you are. I sorry, sorry. I fucking appreciate a good direct deposit. All right, that's it. <laughs> and when I see a direct deposit, I'm fucking excited. So, I'd, ra- so I'd rather, direct deposit I'd rather have con- you know rights to my own labor. That's yeah. Give me your direct that. deposit next time, scumbag. No. Give it to him. See. No. No, I, it, I, I. I can't wait to tell Big T about this. Yeah. What's Big T gonna say? Big T. What gonna, do you think? Big T is gonna be in your ass about that. I said the return. Anyone who's against the return is an idiot. It, it philosophically makes zero sense. Yeah, let's do it. No, no, I love doing paperwork just to get some of my it. own money back. Yeah, all the money that I earned. Yeah. Thanks for giving it back. You're an idiot. End of show. <laughs> nice live draft, Big Cat. Thank you. Yes. Thanks, Dan. See you guys on Wednesday. Uh, I need. To-